Huawei Ascend 910B chip makes a sudden appearance. The Game Changer, Huawei Mate X6 Trinet Satellite Edition. Just on December 5, 2025, the U.S. Department of Commerce's updated entity list was still fresh with the smell of ink. Not only did it blacklist over 200 Huawei affiliated companies, but even lithography technology below $14 backslash text NM dollar was listed in the absolute ban catalog. Whispers even emerged from Silicon Valley of the arrogant claim that this time, Huawei's chip path would be completely sealed off. Yet, a mere 24 hours later, a video that caused a collective crash across the entire U.S. tech industry went viral. In the heart of the Taklamakan Desert, a no-signal zone without any ground-based stations, a Huawei phone was smoothly streaming a 4K quality wilderness survival short video. The progress bar could be dragged to the end with zero lag. The actual measured download speed reached $660 backslash text MBPs dollar which is $20 backslash percent dollar faster than the average $5 backslash text G dollar speed within Beijing's Fifth Ring Road. Even more disruptive to the common understanding, a teardown confirmed that the chip supporting this miraculous performance was designed and manufactured without touching any U.S. technology throughout the entire process. After six years of being choked by restrictions, having to rely on smuggling, even for high-end chips, how did Huawei suddenly unblock its chief vessels of energy circulation? This news sent chip engineers in Silicon Valley scrambling to review their test data overnight, and Wall Street analysts urgently revised their next day's reports. They simply couldn't believe how the impenetrable fortress they had built had been pierced by a single phone. This is not magic. The key lies in the base stations in the sky. The Huawei Mate X6 Trinet Satellite Edition is like giving the phone three heads and six arms, allowing it to simultaneously connect to three satellites in different orbits, equivalent to connecting to three super signal towers at once. Previously, even sending a text message on a satellite phone was difficult. Now, running at $660 backslash text MBPs dollar, it's like widening a former country lane into an eight-lane, two-way highway. Whether you are in the desert or the deep sea, the signal will chase you, deepening the miracle, the heart attack, on Silicon Valley. If satellite communication is the game changer that breaks through the blockade, then the sudden appearance of the Huawei Ascend $910 backslash text B dollar chip is a heart attack aimed directly at the core of Silicon Valley. This heavy punch struck at the very Achilles heel of U.S. technological hegemony. The day after the video of Huawei's satellite phone desert test went viral globally, news from the supply chain completely set Wall Street ablaze. The Ascend $910 backslash text B dollar has not only completed technical verification but has also achieved mass production on a scale of $100,000 units per month. This capacity directly matches the supply volume of NVIDIA's $H200 to China. The measured data is even more groundbreaking. Its $FP32 computing power reaches $320 backslash text teraflops dollar, which is only $8 backslash percent dollar lower than the $H200, while its energy efficiency ratio is $12 backslash percent dollar higher. In the context of large AI model training, running the same Woodow 4.0 model directly cuts the cost in half. Keep in mind, last year U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo stood at a press conference and issued a harsh statement. We will make it impossible for China to acquire high-end AI chips for 10 years. Yet, in just one year, Huawei has not only built it but can also supply it in batches. Over 20 domestic AI giants, including Baidu and ByteDance, have initiated replacement tests overnight. This head-on counterattack has utterly stunned the global tech community. These two major breakthroughs are absolutely not isolated coincidences. They conceal the underlying logic of China's technological breakout. Next, we will dissect. How does satellite communication allow Chinese phones to bid farewell to no signal? How is the domestically produced chip overturning Silicon Valley's hegemony? And what secret is hidden in the predicament of European and American counterparts? Satellite communication, the sky net, that shocks the West. 
Let's first look at this sky net of satellite communication. How shocking is Huawei's breakthrough? A comparison with Europe and the US makes it instantly clear. Apple launched its satellite feature back in 2022, but it can still only send emergency texts. It can't even handle voice calls, let alone stream videos. Elon Musk's Starlink seems lively, but ordinary phones need to buy a receiver costing over $1,000 to use it. Essentially, it remains a niche toy. Huawei, however, directly embeds the satellite module into a mass market phone. The $660 backslash text MBPs dollar speed can already meet practical scenarios like emergency rescue and outdoor live streaming. Even more crucially is the cost of popularization. Chinese telecoms customized thousand yuan phones can support satellite communication, while the cheapest satellite phones on the European market cost dollar eight zero 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 dollar euros, more than double the average monthly salary in China. During last year's typhoon disaster in Fujian, 400 satellite phones became a lifeline. With 2,321 calls sustaining communication between the disaster area and the outside world. This scenario is almost unimaginable in Europe. During the 2024 Italian earthquake, due to the scarcity of satellite equipment, many villages were only discovered after being trapped for three days. Commentary Analysis The US and Europe turned satellite communication into a luxury good essentially hoarding technology in the hands of a few companies for exorbitant profits. China, on the other hand, follows a technology for all route. Huawei's breakthrough is not only a technical victory, but also a breaking of the industry's unwritten rule that high-end technology must come at a high price. When satellite communication shifts from the privilege of a few to the guarantee for the average person, China's voice in the communications sector is no longer built on stacking parameters, but on a precise grasp of public livelihood needs. The chip battlefield, a loud slap to U.S. sanctions. In the chip battlefield, the mass production of the Ascend $910 backslash text, B, dollar delivers the loudest slap to the U.S. sanctions. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang recently complained that U.S. restrictions had cost them billions of dollars in orders. Now, he must be even more panicked. The Ascend $910 backslash text B dollar performs close to the dollar H200 dollar but costs only half the price, and domestic AI companies are rushing to start replacement tests. In contrast, Europe, by following the US and imposing a technology blockade, saw over 2 million cars halt production in October 2025 due to chip shortages. The price of Nexperia's chips surged 25 times leaving car manufacturers desperately searching for alternatives. The U.S. itself is caught in a sanctions paradox. To choke China, it mandated that the $H200 exported by NVIDIA must be functionally crippled, and 25% of the revenue must be surrendered. This has led to widespread complaints from Silicon Valley companies. Qualcomm's revenue in China has dropped by 30%, and Intel explicitly defied the order. By building a factory in Shanghai. Meanwhile, China's chip industry has formed a closed loop. In 2024, semiconductor exports exceeded $1.03 trillion yuan. SMIC's $14 backslash text NM dollar process yield has reached TSMC's level, and the mass production of Ascend is merely a natural progression. Commentary analysis Many assume technological blockade is a scorched earth policy but they forget that the market is the best catalyst. The more the U.S. restricts, the more Chinese companies unite, and the more capital dares to invest, Cambricon's stock price soaring 28 times in three years to become the stock king of the A-share market is the best evidence. The misery of European car companies also serves as a warning to the world. Technological hegemony will eventually backfire. China's model of demand-driven R&D has turned the dead end of the blockade into a live path of innovation, and this is the most formidable competitive edge. The grand conclusion, systemic warfare trumps single-point advantage. Some might say Huawei's breakthroughs are isolated incidents. Just look at the explosion of the entire supply chain to see how disruptive this is. In the satellite communication sector, 35 phone models nationwide already support this function 
covering everything from Huawei flagships to the dollar two zero 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 dollar yuan Maimon phones. In the U.S., fewer than five phones support satellite features to date. In the AI chip sector, companies like Cambricon and Hygon are moving forward together, with the semiconductor industry's profit growing by dollar fifty two point ninety eight backslash percent dollar in the first three quarters of twenty twenty five. This growth rate leaves European and American counterparts far behind. As for the so-called technological advantage of Europe and the U.S., it is already riddled with holes. Elon Musk's Starlink had to delay the launch of 1,000 satellites last year due to a chip shortage. Airbus in Europe tried to build its own satellite communication system, but due to disagreements among countries, the budget ballooned from 1 billion euros to 3 billion and has yet to be finalized. China's Tiantong-1 satellite network has been completed and has saved tens of thousands of people in disaster areas like Fujian and Hebei. Whether technology is good or not depends on its ability to save lives in critical moments. The ultimate value of technology is not to flaunt parameters but to solve problems. Europe and the US treat technology as a political bargaining chip, while China treats it as a tool for public welfare. This is the gap. Huawei's satellite phone can rescue self-driving tourists in Hozil, and Ascend chips can bring AI medical equipment to remote areas. These tangible values provide the most solid support for Chinese technology. When technological breakthrough aligns with public demand, the tightest blockade will crumble. There's another even more subversive secret. China's breakthroughs are not single-point advancements, but systemic warfare. Huawei's satellite technology is backed by China Telecom's network support. The mass production of the Ascend chip depends on SMIC's foundry breakthroughs. This supply chain synergy capability is something Europe and the U.S. simply cannot replicate. U.S. chip giants rely on global supply chains and collapse if one link stalls. In 2025, Qualcomm nearly delayed a new chip launch due to raw material shortages from Japan. European semiconductor companies lost 30% of their market share due to restrictions on China. The biggest slap in the face is that the U.S. has recently started to soften its stance. Trump suggested allowing the export of the dollar H $200 to China but demanded a $25 backslash percent dollar protection fee. Yet, the market is not buying it. Domestic companies bluntly stated, Older chips with an added fee are not as good as using domestic ones. This is the confidence behind China's technological breakthrough. We are no longer passive recipients, but active choosers. We used to use whatever was available, but now we build whatever we want. Commentary analysis. The essence of the blockade is to maintain a technological monopoly, but history has already proven that technological progress will never be blocked. The U.S. blockade of Japanese semiconductors inadvertently forced Japan to delve deeper into the storage field. The current restrictions on China have also led us down a path of self-reliance. As China forms a closed loop of R&D mass production application, the so-called advantage of Europe and the U.S. becomes past tense. The outcome of this game is already determined. Whoever can serve the needs of more people will win the future. Huawei's dual breakthroughs are not just the victory of one company but the signal of an era. Technological hegemony will eventually fail, and open cooperation is the right way forward. When Chinese phones no longer fear, no signal, and when domestic chips can support the future of AI, we can finally say, the so-called blockade is merely a whetstone for growth. Have you or anyone you know used satellite communication? What do you think should be the next breakthrough for domestically produced chips? Feel free to leave a comment to discuss. Follow me to understand China's core technological breakthroughs firsthand. Thank you for reading, and see you next time.